I might watch that later. I might, I might make yeah, it. Yeah, I, I don't remember that at all. I'll have to watch it. I mean, yeah, the lusty eye helps, but I'm talking about neutral. Which is nothing to do with that. Strongly suggest going back, anyone who's interested in that set and watching it, because it's just. It's nuts how Yukun just is in his head. How do you spell Yukon's ta tag? Is it two, U two U's? I think that's or what I tried. Yeah, Kuhn, yeah. at one point he was just U. U. Yeah. Or re now two he's U. just you. Why you, you? Because he grew up. He's no longer a boy. Yep. Robert, for some reason, though, is like the only good player who misses texts often. Maybe I text unintentionally. Yeah, like, uh, I think he just times it. He, he's oh, just not a full game. Not yeah. sure, but I don't know. I but I used to play with him, you know, as Ness and do lots of down airs, and he would just always miss text. That's so strange. It's a strange thing to not do to be bad at for somebody his level. Docs, if you find that set, can you actually find me? I can't find it on YouTube. Yeah. yeah Probably sure. on Robert's channel, right? Because he uploaded his own recordings. I assume so. Is the Discord lagging? The stream lagging for you guys? Yeah, it is a little for me. It happens. Discord just sucks. It does. It wasn't lagging before this. Isn't it something where if you pay the premium or whatever, you get better, like, bitrate or something? I think so, yeah. Kind of. Sounds about right. Oh. Just kind oh, of. Oh no. It's fared off. I don't know what Robert's channel is either. It's just it's, uh, Nick's the name. Oh. Uh, <laughs> just type Robert into YouTube, you'll be fine. <laughs> no, 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 it's, it's Nick's the name, right? Yeah. <laughs> Nick's the name. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> One of his videos is just the fox player from outer space. Oh yeah, there's the VOD. You versus Robert. Kento 2019. Just type in Robert. No, no, it's next to the name. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just watching that set now. <laughs> I'll give you guys commentary for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm right there. Right oh. Whoa. Did he try to use the face? <laughs> oh my god! David, what are you. You're so insane. Why? <laughs> yeah, Fred, let's just comment. Did you see that? But Dark and I? That was nuts. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> of course, as, I, as soon as I started looking away, interesting things started happening. Dogs I, did, I didn't see those down beasts, though. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Just going crazy. Oh, this no. is a, a Midwest battle, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Box is one of our best now. He, he definitely leveled up during the weekly pools. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Classic <laughs> combo. Couple mad men. This game is dope. <laughs> <laughs> Estumbrera loves it. Fake? <laughs> I don't know. What's that fake? You gotta clip it and go back and see if the nah, combo meter real. was on. Yeah, stay the frames. <laughs> oh. No fair into... Huh. I feel like fair was played. Ooh. Right. He yeah. just rolled away. Oh. Scared. Yeah, I don't know if, uh... Like... Uh... That was real, but I know oh, that he wanted an F smash there. When Kirby does the uppy, like Pikachu's almost in a headstone until he touches the platform. So you could make a combo. That's yeah, gonna right. Do it. Fun fact: I actually know what percent Kirby's four throw kills Pikachu on the top plot. Oh wow! You, you actually know that? Yeah, I know the exact percent that it happens. I know it's crazy. It's so crazy, man. So I knew that he was going to die before the Ford throw even finished. Yeah, me too. It's wild. <laughs> you guys are nerds. <laughs> you, guys, you memorize the Fox up smash percentages? No. <laughs> I, 
We, we only worry about characters that people play. <laughs> you guys are so smart. True. If, if people just, like, said, like, one set of percentages per set, I feel like we might learn them. Like, oh, yeah, know. definitely. Oh, box spoilers. I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of annoyed that, um, I still don't know, or I haven't, like, committed to memory the Kirby F3 percentages on Jigglypuff. Yeah. Like, Ooh. I just, I've never bothered to look at it. I've never bothered to think about it. But every time I, I see the matchup, I'm like, ah, I wish I knew those. I don't even know what Kirby's F throw percentages are on Pico other than the top plot one. Uh, I mean, sitting at 109 on the ground, but I don't know what side plot is. It's half the fun is just guessing if something's gonna kill. It's, it's 99, Knowing 108, 119. Oh, is it 119? Yeah, it's 119 on the on the ground. Oh, I thought it was 109. I guess I don't know anything. Yeah, I just remember it as 989. Yeah. At first, I thought 119. I was like, well, that's too low. So I knew it at some point. <laughs> or I thought that was too high, I mean. The spreadsheet is wrong, Spongy. <laughs> 72. That's so messed up. <laughs> but there was a remix stage where DK up, B, uh, DK up smash killed Puff at zero. Or something like that. What? Oh, it was DK downbeat. DK downbeat killed Puff at zero. <laughs> <laughs> what stage was that? Um, it was like Battlefield or something, but before it got fixed. Huh. I remember uh, ever having a silly Melo? Uh, Swag. see, it was Sounds uh, like before it got broken. Yeah, Spongy. It was like Boss Battle Two. Um, I thought it was ninety nine one hundred eight one seventeen because I had heard it from like Star King or something. And then everyone's like, no, you're an idiot, you're wrong. I'm like, ah. So then I then I learned. It's just weird that that's like we all learned that like four years ago, and we haven't learned anything since, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I don't really know why everyone knows that. It's kind of funny though. It's a really relevant matchup, that's why. Well, it's just Club had just said it on some like commentary like one time and I don't know now we just all know the, the... I didn't really have a clarify until uh, last week when Dark said it I guess it's it's probably just because like a vertical kill throw has like actual positions that are consistent in matter so like once... like other kill setups are so variant once I added the Kirby F3 percent spreadsheet to my spreadsheet I did fix that one but I didn't check all of the others but now I feel like I have to Thanks, guys. <laughs> oh man, the stream just like paused for me. Yeah, it's just it's just gone on Discord. I gotta watch the oh, Twitch that sucks. stream. Now. <clears throat> I guess I'm just like the rest of chat right now. Feels bad. We're living in in the past with them. <laughs> yeah. In the very far away past. Yeah, yeah, Chris Kringle's not wrong. I do bring it up like almost every tournament. Because there's always someone that doesn't know. Docs, do you know like the history between them? I assume Thief's been pretty dominant. I... Uh, Box has won at least one time. And that was in the summer last... A, like a year and a half ago. Uh, like Bo I was it Box and Mario for a long time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but he switched to Kirby like a, about a year and a half ago, maybe a little bit more. Oh, uh, okay. So he's been Kirby for quite some time now. Uh, but uh, like I was saying earlier, Box really leveled up during the weekly pools, uh, especially during the summer. So he's a better player than he's ever been uh, by by a good margin for sure. Weekly pools were uh, yeah, he, he usually wins every time. Box has only beaten him maybe like once or twice. I, I, yeah, it's really the thing. Like the, a lot of their history would have just been Mario Pika. Right, but even in like Kirby Pika, they they played a bit. Uh, they did a mock best of five set um, two days ago, or three days ago, and beef three of them, uh, or th three one actually three one. I wonder if Box learned a good bit from that. We'll see. Yeah, the the something something that Box has difficulty with is uh, maintaining his mental composure. Uh, 
and it's it's not even like if when he's down or anything. It's just like kind of in general. Fox very good at that combo. He always gets those. Uh, get that. But like he he can kind of get in his head. It definitely feels like he gets very much in his head sometimes, and uh, he can kind of drop games that he doesn't really have much business losing, which is unfortunate. But it's part of competition. Yeah. Oh, that back air. I bet the weekly pools really helped him with that. I hope so, yeah. That's what was nice about those was uh, when I was doing them, I was like, oh, this gives me a way to force me to play a couple times a week and in a competitive mindset. I love those pools. You gotta bring them back. Looking like the West uh, second round of pools aren't going so well, though, unfortunately. Ooh. He jumped into that. Oh, yeah, really? I really liked how the pools were like best of five, because um, I don't usually don't play best of fives uh, competitively ever. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I never play best of fives really. We should start running best of five for like the whole tourney. Best of five is fun. It could be a nice uh kind of in between since we don't want to do like round round pulls and we the thing with the weekly pulls is no one would play their matches until like sunday a lot of the time yeah, i would never... it would be better to just start hosting round robin tournaments um in that similar format but not making it like a forced weekly thing to maintain a position or something and then like doing it all in one day something annoyed me was um oh i tried I mean, again I get... I get that's how it worked, but when like top players would just enter, kind oh, of there it is. And they'd just enter and then have to go through all the pools and just wreck people. Yeah, it wasn't the best system. That's why I think that what Frey is saying would be more ideal, I think. Yeah, if it could be seated a little better. I mean, that's the one good thing about the pools is they like seated themselves. Yeah. Once it, once it was up and running. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Dogs, are you back on the Discord one or Twitch? Oh, I was watching Twitch. Is the yeah the Discord? Okay, the Discord you. one's running a little better for me now. But yeah, I remember that, like there were a couple times uh, during the weekly pulls where I would like drop down because I was inactive for a week, Ooh. and then I'd oh. be like, oh, I guess I'm just gonna play like DK and Link and stuff now. It was box, box is box. He's just box. He's a Midwest player. Box uh, is like... box. Yeah. <laughs> box seven six four. Yeah. Or that was like, who did the seating? I'm seated under this guy named some guy named Box. <laughs> and oh. I was like, you should be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it does just kind of sound like the tag of some guy that like randomly entered, and he's definitely gonna go zero two. <laughs> That's true. That's part of the strat. Man, I, I wonder how nervous uh, Beef was. Like, he, he oh! went out for that risky edge guard. Oh, is that it? No. Oh, he went out for that risky edge guard and died at like 30%. Oh! Dude, he, he just. Instead of going for that he bear, which had no chance of landing, he. Oh, if he had just committed to that pivot away F smash earlier, I think he would have yeah, had it. Yeah, like, it seemed like he went the wrong way with the F smash earlier. What a close yeah. set. That was man. really close. Yeah. 